Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you for tuning in and welcome to my Nostalgiaholic show. This episode, I'm going to take a closer look at a really cool toy line that was exclusive at San Diego Comic Con of this year, 2015, by Mattel. And it's called Moto Schools. I think I'm pronouncing that correct anyway. And what this is, it's a mashup and a blend of two really cool toy lines from the 80s. They're around the same time. And that is of Muscle Men as well as He Man. Uh, so, what, what Mattel did here, which I think is really clever, is they took uh, some of these characters from the He Man uh, universe and they made them in the size of Muscle Men. So, for those who don't, aren't familiar with either line, Muscle Men came out in North America uh, late 1985. Uh, it was kind of taken by a company, K Kenkishi, which is a Japanese uh, line of toys by Bandai based on a manga, another a TV series in Japan. Very popular line. And Mattel took it over to the States. They were a huge popular line. In fact, they created uh, a video game for the NES called Muscle. Uh, not a very good wrestling game, but it's, nonetheless, it still came out for the NES. Uh, there's a handful of uh, characters that came out. They're almost like a race. They look like mini erasers, really small, obviously this size. They later on came with different colors, and they had a local wrestling ring. They had a belt that you could purchase. Really awesome. One of my favorite toy lines of the 80s. Of course, Master of the Universe, He-Man, uh, TV show. Only lasted two seasons, although they had a lot of episodes per season. And the toy line was 1982 to 1986. Uh, so it came out around the same time, of course. Uh, and they were larger figures. And one of the my favorite toy lines of all time. In fact, it was kind of Mattel's answer to the Star Wars line by Kenner at the time. Because uh, that was a huge line. So let's take a closer look at each one of these individually. Uh, there are four packages with uh, four characters in each set. So that would make it, uh, what, uh, 16 total characters in the line. Plus they have a little harder to find black figures as well, and then they were given away at San Diego Comic-Con, uh, this purple Skeletor, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so let's take a closer look. Let me know what you guys think of this line. Let me know if you had any of these muscle figures growing up, or if you had He-Man characters grow figures growing up. Uh, share your memories with me. Definitely appreciate reading your comments. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's a closer look at each of the figures individually, each of the packages. Here's a closer look at the purple skull tour they were giving away. They're also giving away a coin for those waiting in line. You can save your spot. And there's a booth number right there. Skull tour is pretty sweet. And this is kind of random too. I'm gonna show you this is uh this is like a, a air freshener that they're giving away. He man air freshener. Stink core. <laughs> I remember the figure when growing up actually this the figure itself actually stank pretty bad, like skunk smell. Pretty funny. But uh, here's the first set. I stand corrected I said there were sixteen characters or she's twelve. So three in each set. I'm not sure what these initially retailed for. There's He-Man, Man at Arms, and uh, very, very cool. And on the back, the style looks just like you would Muscle Man, a pretty cool. M-O-T-U, Masters of the Universe. So they basically just blended the two. Super 7, they've done stuff with Funko and did the three and three quarter inch line for a very cool. So that's the first set. Here's other figures here. All 12. There's Merman. Man of Faces, I believe, is the other one there. So there's some, some bad guys. Here is Skeletor, more, more bad guys as well. Cool. And then this is uh, the black. So these are uh, same figures, only six of these came out, but uh, these are black ones as well. Different color. Look, that's He Man too. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty fun. Click all 12. And Skeletor. So, pretty awesome. Definitely match the look of Muscle Men. And in case you guys are curious what muscle stands for, it stands for millions of unusual small creatures lurking everywhere. <laughs> kind of a cheesy, uh, cheesy name, but uh, it works. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to share this. Pretty cool line. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys have any of these? Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys soon and take care.